ride it out, Sioni. 51, 52, 53. Okay, we ran. I know you're tired, but I don't care. And today, I want to see guys hustle. Because you know who also doesn't care? <laughs> they don't care. I want to see energy. I want to see guys hustle. They won. Get yourselves together. Get a break. Let's get ready to rally. Punches on me. Punch on me. One, two, three. Punch on me. Shane Scott Martin, tight end DN. First day looked really good. Off season was hard. Uh, a lot of running, a lot of lifting. I bulked this year because I was I didn't weigh that much last year, but I gained like 25 pounds since it was a short season last year. A lot of recovery, but we're ready to you know go out there this season and win. First and ten from the 30. Keep your eye on number six and watch the junior tight end Christian Pedersen just barricade him out of the hostage way. That's the key block that led to that touchdown. Henderson is just a beast in this play. That's why he's got 23 offers. I believe in football the two most important things are blocking and tackling. And with me playing on the uh, offensive side of the ball, I figured I got to be really good at blocking because once you're good at blocking, you get good at catching and so on and so forth. So you got to get good at the boring stuff before you get good at the other stuff. That's why I'm going to Louisville. You know, there's, there's guys like Pedersen in high school, um, and you could find tight ends anywhere. You just got to tell them that they're tight ends at an early age. Um, you know, and we did that with, per se, Gil Martin this year. Gil Martin would be a receiver at every other team in this league. Um, but, you know, we, we know that if he puts on 40 pounds, he can do some things. And that was kind of our idea with Pedersen was, yeah, you can go be an outside receiver, an inside receiver, and, uh, you know, in our opinion, be a JUCO guy or a D1 AA guy or a D2 guy. Or you can put on 40 pounds, uh, you know, man up and, and get in the trenches um, and, and go big time D1. And it's a testament to him committing to that, um, you know. And, and I told him last year as a junior even, I said, you're not going to get very many catches. Um, we're stacked all over the place. Um, and, and, you know, our, our tight end isn't, isn't in this offense to catch the ball, essentially. Now, you will get some, um, but, but your main focus is to add gaps to the defense and, and, and to, to kick people out and to trap block people. Um, and he took that role and he actually embraced it, which is really, really rare for a kid. Um, and I think he embraced it because he understood that we had coaches that knew what we were talking about and we had coaches that would get him to the next level and he trusted in me. Um, you know, his family trusted in me and Coach Walsh to put him in a position to where he could only have less than 10 catches but still be a guy with 20 plus offers. I mean, you know, you don't hear about tight ends that have less than 10 catches as juniors having 25 plus offers. And, and he did it because he bought into, you know, what we were selling. What we were selling is uh, put your hand in the dirt and go block somebody and uh, the looks will come, you know, and, and your time will come where you will be a feature through the air as well. So, you know, it was just, it was really crazy, but it was really awesome because, you know, part of him, I'm sure, didn't believe that it was possible to go D1 and to, and to get this attention without being the guy, uh, so to speak. Um, so to see it all come to fruition and to see, you know, what we had talked about for two years uh, come to that point where, you know, when you talk about nationally ranked tight ends, you're talking about Christian Pedersen. It was awesome, uh, not only for him um, and his family, but for us as a staff to, you know, kind of reiterate the fact that we, we kind of have an idea of what we're doing and a vision for our kids uh, that will allow them to be the best that they can be and, and to play at the next level. Yeah, I know CP was such a good uh, mentor. He showed me so much how like how to run routes, how to block, how, how to be aggressive on the field. Because I started off as a wide receiver, so going to uh, tight end, I just had to learn a lot. And he showed me, showed me the way for sure. <laughs> this team's looking really good. I have high hopes for this team. But we're ready to you know go out there this season and win. Punch on me, punch on three, one, two, three, punch!